Yeah, good evening YouTube. So I did a video a little while back on this Turnigy 8150 battery charger and one of the things I noticed after I started using it, I'm not sure if this was related to having it sitting around for a while, but if I do a discharge, so this particular unit has a cooling fan, it usually kicks on using uh, any of the discharge modes and it also seems to kick on with charging and you can kind of hear that fan is really noisy but what I think I need to do is tear this apart and put a little bit of oil into this fan so let me see if I can figure out how to get inside of this unit and I'll show you what it looks like okay YouTube wasn't too hard to get in there. I just uh, pulled out the four screws that hold the output plate in place, and those were number eight Torx. And then that gave me access to the fan. There's just four little Phillips screws there to hold that in. And it looks like it's your typical PC case fan with a little label there. So I'm going to try to pry that label up and see if I can get to the bearing in there. It doesn't spin very easy, so I think that bearing there needs a little bit of oil. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that looks like the bearing. So let's try to put a little... Let's get some Triflow oil here. And put a couple of drops in there. That's a lot better now. And I'll just power up the unit and hook up my battery and see if I can get the fan to come on. So I'll get back to you in a second here. Okay, sort of the unit's upside down. It's just the easiest way to get to all the uh, connectors here. But, and let me turn on my power supply. That's a nice thing, putting my Dean's plug on there. I've got a, a banana jack cable off of my power supply and a Dean's plug output, and I can just plug that in. I've got a lithium 18650 cell. Let's go to discharge and start. And now watch the fan. It just blows air now. It's not noisy. I think the fan is much happier. But I think that works. That was a pretty easy fix. I've got some acetone. I'll wipe off the uh, plastic, let it dry real good, and then I'll put the little sticker back over the top. While I have it out here, let us measure the size. Yeah, so it's a 35 millimeter 12 volt fan. That might be a useful one to have a spare of. Yeah, it's a 35 millimeter by 10. 35 square and then 10 millimeter deep. Yeah, I'll, I'll post an update in the video description if I run into any more problems with this fan. Yeah, looks like everything's running, so I'm going to shut this off, put it back together, and we'll catch you next time. So if you have any questions on that repair, post up in the comment section below the video description. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.